cells need to maintain their circadian rhythm even without depending on the level of light that is shining on them. I'd like to show you how Drosophila cells can keep up their circadian rhythm even in sustained darkness. This is a simplified model but it illustrates a self-regulatory mechanism with a built-in delay. For this to work we need two proteins, the PER and TIM protein. These two genes are first transcripted into mRNA. Then the mRNA is translated into proteins. These two different proteins are phosphorylated two times. Then both of these proteins form a dimer. This dimer is incorporated and transported into the nucleus where it can downregulate the expression of these genes. Let's look at a numerical simulation of the system. In the top left corner we can see the expression levels of the two proteins. We can see that transcription peaks at a certain time of the day. In the bottom left corner we can see the blue and the red curve which are the concentration of the dimer in the nucleus, the blue curve and the red curve is the concentration of the dimer in the cytosol. The red curve is a little more flat because the dimer is transported into the nucleus very quickly. We can see that the peak of the blue curve coincides with the low point of the green curve. That is because the dimer downregulates the messenger RNA levels. On the right we can see the different phosphorylated forms of the two proteins. These curves peak at different times of the day offering additional opportunities for regulation of other cell processes. So, with this simulation we can observe a simple self-regulatory process that can oscillate even in darkness. Also, this is an example of some kind of delay.